I'm not gonna lie, I just needed to hear that sound effect again. It feels like it's been forever, and uh, yeah, it's actually still amazing. No matter how many times I come back to it. Hey there, guys! My name is Nix, and welcome back to Amori! Last time, uh... I guess we started in a white room, and then Omori came out and hung out with his friends. At which point we beat up a big pink thing in the park because he tried to kidnap Basil, damn it! <laughs> look at him. Look at him with his flower crown. If I can actually look at him. I actually can't because there's five of us. I think I've already spoken to Mari. Come on, Omori, have some fruit. Food is good for you. Yeah, I think we did. We had a little touching thing at a picnic, and then we were going south to Basil's house. So that's what we're going to do. Stomping notwithstanding. Oh, okay, that was... I, I was just like, was the butterfly anything to do with that, or...? Well, she does say different stuff. Cool. Hi, Mori. Cliff face as usual, I see. You should totally smile more. I've always liked your smile. So, do you need me to help you with anything? All it costs is your love. Da. Wait. I've got advice? Got Basil and Daisy's Dilemma. Oh yeah, she does give me advice. I remember her saying that now. Uh, yeah. Um. Oh, Daisy's trying to get her to crush the notice of with a flower puzzle. How cute. I think I saw McCall for a while away a while back. Maybe you could find it somewhere. Okay, so I guess... Ma I guess Mari's like my list of subquests or something I can do? I don't know. Anyway, big stompy thing. I'm assuming it's you. I'm also assuming that this is Basil's house and you're stood in front of the door. Damn, this combat music you just fucking came in, came in and kicked me in the teeth, didn't it? Um, It looks kind of happy. I wish I'd looked at the emotion chart from before. God damn it, me. Um, Okay, sad. It raises your defense. And, like, attacks also lower your juice. <laughs> These are words that have left my mouth. I'm just- I'm trying to work out if it looks like it already has an emotion. Ye old Sprout. Uh, Aubrey, you make people happy. So you know what? You pep talk Amori. Kel, you make people angry. And- uh, Angry is good against happy, happy, sad, sad against- Angry from memory. So really I need to make it sad if I'm going to be happy to punch the shit out of it. Or at least that's the way I'm choosing to think about it. Uh, either way, I'm just going to smack you. Uh, remove a friend or foe's emotion. Can you like massage this thing? I don't know if it's got anything on. I'm happy! Oh god, it hit all of us. That's a... That's a not good. Uh, make it sad. And then you continue making... You know what? Buff hero for the time being. In the meantime, you keep smacking it, Cal. I'm really hoping I've got this tree the right way round. Oh god, it was a moving attack. I mean, technically, he rolled over. Oh man, this fight is pretty tough. But don't worry, we can do this if we work together. Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you all a little bit about teamwork. Let's try again, Amori. We'll get him this time. Okay. You notice anything different, Amori? 
Do you see a new bar at the bottom of the screen with a number at the side? Yep, it says three, and it's got dots going across it. This is our collective energy. By using our energy, we can defeat this foe together. Just attack and you'll see. Okay. Just everyone smack him. And then I passed a hero, okay. I, th I thought I did something. Did you see the bubbles that popped up when we attacked? Yeah, I had Kel pass to hero, but I think. But... Let's call the follow-up. After you attack, for a limited time, you can use energy to perform a follow-up move. Just press any directional arrow and see what happens. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna make it sad. I'm gonna make Amori happy. And Kel and Hero just smack it. Pass to Amori. God damn it, Amori! <laughs> oh wait! Because I missed, I took one damage and became sad. <sighs> Man, this guy's really tough. When he attacked us, did you notice that our energy went up? When we take damage, we also gain energy. Think of it as a chance to make a comeback. Good to know. I think he's still sad, I think. It's hard to tell. Um... I mean, yeah, Cook's kind of like an all or nothing heal. Oh, I tripped and he made him fall over. I think I can only do one pass at a time. Nice, we're full of energy. It's the perfect time to use our special attack. Amori. After you attack, press D to release energy. I hope you're ready. Come on, everyone. Let's show this big guy what we're made of. Well, everyone, just smack him, I guess. Release energy. By our powers combined! We beat up a big tree! Oh, yeah! <laughs> you know, sometimes this is like a happy-go-lucky JRPG! And then Amori learned how to stab someone! <laughs> oh, God, the concern never stops growing, does it? And there you have it. Heroes Battle Tutorial 101. And I'm sure that as we fight more battles, our teamwork will improve over time. Wow, you guys. That was so amazing. Ah, uh, that was nothing. <laughs> I've taken out way bigger guys than that. I should teach you some of my skills one of these days. Basil, I know you're not the type that likes to fight. But it's good to know how to defend yourself, too. You know... I've actually been working on a book all about battles. Maybe we can all study it together sometime. Ah yes, Heroes, the Art of War. I'll give it to Amori to hold on to for now. You've got the self-help guide. As we get stronger, I'll update the follow-up section at the self-help guide, so be sure to check it out every now and then. Amori, you should know. When we gain XP and level up, sometimes we'll also learn skills. Skills are powerful and have a wide range of effects, but each of us can only remember up to four skills at a time. Gotcha! We've got the memory capacity of Pokémon! After you learn a new skill, don't forget to equip them from the player menu, okay? Yeah, yeah, we know! Can we go to Basil's house now? Okay, that's all I had to say. Patience, Kel. 
Nice. I'm assuming Basil lives in here. Basil lives in a broken down shoe, apparently. You know that fairy tale about the woman that lived in a shoe? Maybe I've misjudged Basil's gender. <laughs> Say cheese! Aw, oh, it came out kind of blurry. Oh, that's okay. It gives a character. Hope you don't mind the photo. Of course we don't mind. I want to see it. Oh, sure thing. We all look so cute. Channeled my inner Raider there, I think. How's my hair? I want to see. I want to see. Oh, hey, Mori, do you want to look at the photo, too? <laughs> it's too bad that it came out kind of blurry, but you can all still look- you all still look so cute. I should add it to my collection. Woo! Another shot for the photo album! Move over, Aubrey, I can't see! Hey, stop pushing! You already had your turn! Get out of my way, Kel! Wait, hold on. There's no need to fight. Me first! No, me! Uh, stop it! You guys are knocking me over! Uh... Whoops. Oh my gosh, Basil! I'm, I'm so sorry! You okay, Basil? You two are in big trouble now. This is why bo this is why the both of you need to learn how to get along. I th I'm sorry. We didn't mean it, Hero. Please don't tell M Marie. It it's okay. Don't worry about it. Accidents happen. Here's your photos. It doesn't look like any of them got damaged. Let's put them back in your photo album together. Thank you, hero. Let's go inside my house first. Remember to wipe your feet before you come in. You live in a shoe, Basil! <laughs> Is there anything around the outskirts? Don't look like it, although I do like the plants you've got glow glowing. <laughs> they might glow, I don't know. I meant to say growing in the the waters. Ah! Quaint! You have a lot of potted plants, Basil. Is, is this your day job? Are you ready to put, the, put back the photos, Amori? I guess. Yeah, let's get started. As I said in the first episode, I, I, I have no idea if Basil's a boy or a girl, so I'm just kind of rolling with it. Hmm? Darn. I don't think I remember all, the order of all these photos. Don't worry about a thing, Basil. Mori has a really good memory, so I'm sure we'll figure this out in no time. Um... Piss, I should have paid attention! You? Is that right? Well, this is the most recent one we took. Oh, okay, it tells you where to put them. Okay, that's, uh, thank God. They're good as new. I'm really sorry for pushing you over, Basil. Even though at least half of it was Cal's fault. Yeah, I promise never to fight with Aubrey ever again. Unless she starts it first. Don't worry about it. I know you guys only wanted to see my photo album. Thank you for helping me put it back together. You dropped one. Huh? That's strange. Photo must have been loose. Huh? 
what is this? Did I take this photo? Something about it seems... So familiar. No. That cut. Oh, God. What the? Basil, your house has grown veins! That can't be. Oh, God! What the hell? What? Marie! Excuse me? The, the, the fuck was that? Mr. Kitty? Not much to do around here, is there? I feel like I could do with that. Uh... I don't like the heartbeat. I'm just having a look round. Um, these are all the same as previously. No, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> or would I like to log off? All I hear is... Your sketchbook. Was that there before? I don't know if the Iowa thing was there before, and that concerns the hell out of me. Look into the light bulb? It's pitch black inside, you can't see a thing. I feel like there were... Oh yeah, I was gonna say there were hands or something that were... Stopping me from leaving. Why would I? Oh, uh, don't like that one bit. Okay. Uh, I might have to preface this with a self harm warning. Well, you know. That. Look at all of us. These are all our memories together. So is that like Amori and Basil in the first shot? They're a little sad now. But we should be happy that they happened at all. Let's make some new memories together, okay? You see a boy sleeping in his room. What's his name? Well, oh, I, I didn't realize I had in, I had influence over this. Um, you know what? Sonny will suffice, I think. I'm not gonna mess with this because it's probably story related. The boy's name is Sonny. Wait a minute. Isn't this just a Mori? Nothing special about the house plants. Nothing special about the wardrobe. Can't turn my light on. Hi, Sonny. This is a note from Mommy. Left some food in the fridge f for you downstairs. It's steak, your favorite. Love you, XOXO. Hey, Sonny. It's Mom. I'm still in the city setting things up for our new home. Did you finish packing yet? 
Movers are going to be at, at our house in a few days, so I left a list of things for you to do before they arrive. Also, sorry. Mommy messed up. I forgot to tell the electric company that we need a few extra days before we're ready to move, so the lights might cut out sometime tonight. Anyway. I know moving to a new place can be a little nerve-wracking right now, but I, but I think a change of scenery will be positive for the both of us. I know you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but you might want to say goodbye to your old friends before we leave. Kel's been trying really hard to get a hold of you ever since we put our house for, up for sale. He's been calling every day for the past... Calling us every week for the past few months. He seems a little lonely. Maybe you should pay him a visit. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. I mean, I am, but... You know... Uh, so, uh, for some reason, I don't feel like eating. Might just be me, though. I don't feel like doing your chores right now. I mean, to be fair, I don't know what time it is, but I was asleep. Well, this is... All kinds of creepy and ominous, isn't it? I guess they can check these doors. Bathroom. Good to know. Is this my mother's room? Yeah, this looks like mother's room. Family photos. Oh, I can save here. Probably should do that. Oh shit! This is a Mori, but in color. <laughs> no! I'm not sure I want to go downstairs game. Why must you phrase it like that? At least I saved. Yeah, Maury's got the right idea. You don't want to look down. Was there anything else in the bathroom or? Yeah. Yeah, that's me, all right. Hi, Sonny. This is a note from Mom. Remember to brush your teeth. Love you. And towels and toiletries. But... I didn't miss anything in here, did I? All right, fine. Keep trying. You feel dizzy. Maybe you can sleep it off. Okay, I gotta go back to bed. Got it. Or at least I'm pretty sure that's what the game's trying to tell me. Would you like to go to sleep? God damn it, now I have to go downstairs, don't I? What the hell happened? An eerie red glow radiates from outside. How is that outside? You feel strangely drawn to it. How is that outside when this is the bath... Room. Was the bathroom. May still be the bathroom. Well, I can't get into the bathroom or my mother's room, so... Oh, God. That's a long flight of stairs. God damn, all this for cold steak in the fridge. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, don't... Don't like any of what's going on here. Why do I feel like I'm descending into... This is... That's my knife from the white room. Who left it on the stairs? I don't know. Oh, God! Actually shit me up. 
Jesus Christ. Just just run from just run from the hyper-realistic human hand that's chasing you down the stairs. Yeah, that didn't work out, did it? The hell? Something. Oh god. I can't run, so I got no skills either. I can all I can do is swing the knife around. <laughs> Something shoves me down the stairs. Literally all I can do is just flail at the damn thing. Sunny. Is that it speaking to me or because if it's it speaking to me, I don't want anything to do with the shadow demon. It taunts me, god damn it. Take a deep breath and don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. You steady yourself and remember how to calm down. It moves emotions and heals some heart. Deep breath, Samori. I know it's Sunny. I'm gonna call him Amori because they look the same, okay? Hey, I made it downstairs. Holy shit. <laughs> Got a first aid kit. Thank Christ, I'm going to need that. Nothing special about it. <sighs> One mild de descent into hell later. I'm not gonna lie though, th though when, I, when I will... No, not into it. Um... All I have in my hands. I don't know where my knife went. Uh. Okay. Um, from other Mart Pharmacy. Healed 150. I guess this is good to have now. And not f to have for later. I mean the Shadow Demon didn't hurt me as much as I thought he would. So. Fireplace. Nail stuck between the. Okay. Oh, no, wait. On the chimney breast. That makes more sense. Doesn't really want to go that way, it seems. I'm assuming these all just say cardboard boxes strewn about the place. Why do I want this? You look in the fridge and find cold steak. Yeah, I'll take it. Sod it. You should probably heat it up before you eat it. I mean, yeah, that, that just makes sense. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about microwave steak. The steak knife. Ah yes, a lovely well done steak. I'm questioning that one, but sure. I mean, yep. It's a steak. What do you want me to say? I just got a tech. Yeah, that's what happens when you cook steak in the microwave. Your stomach didn't agree with that. Bathroom, bathroom, gotta go to the bathroom. While the world is l friggin' liquid.
Yeah, I kind of pictured that would happen. You don't put steak in a microwave, Amori. You've got to actually cook the damn thing. <laughs> you threw up. Well... Sorry, I just had to... My brain was just like... I'm just peeking the door. Just make sure there's nothing actually crazy going on. Yeah, I don't want anything to deal with that. Really, really don't want anything to do with that one. Uh, please! Can we not? Oh. Hey, Sonny. It's Mari. I'm finally back home, but I forgot my keys. Could you open the door for me? What would you like to do? I, I guess. Okay. Everything about this is a whole lot of nope. Whole lot of nope. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Yes. This is my room. Everything's as I expect. Please, send me back to the, the happy place. Welcome to White Space. You've been living here for as long as you can remember. <laughs> oh God. I actually have like goosebumps and the back of the, the hairs on my arm are fucking stood on end. <laughs> Never thought this would be my happy place. Waiting for something to happen? Eh, not really. Just uh, waiting for the fucking demons in my actual life to go away. So, let me just run a thing through my head just to make sure we're all on the same wavelength. Something horrific has happened to Mari. Like, the Mari in real life. Because, from the way I see it, Sonny, when Sonny sleeps, he is a Mori in his dreams. And this is him, I don't know, dealing with... The fucking ghost was there. I saw it. Collect the keys to fill in the incorrect keys will be discarded to the right. Something of... No, it doesn't have to be. Well, let's go through the, uh, the usual rules. Press L1 to open the hangman menu. Something fell nearby. Is that my knife? Oh! No! I get what this means now. So, I have to find these... ...in... ...fucking... ...the dream world or whatever it is. And like, the... ...the descriptions are where I can find them. So like, key A is in the grass near a stump. And so on and so on and so forth. Where the hell did the thing drop? You never take me alive, hands! Okay, maybe you will. Huh, a 
crack in reality. You found a map. Cool, okay, so we've got the woods where we spent most of our time. We've got like a small island with windmills. A fucking Mario Galaxy planet. Uh, a sinister looking castle. A pyramid off to the distance. The under there, I think. And um, something off to the left. I'm possibly right. It might loop. I don't know. R1 for the map. Well. I guess we're going to headspace. Also, I hate the fact that... Do you still do... No, you don't. I can't even look at the things anymore. You just do that. A white door casts a faint shadow. Take me away to the place where it's colorful and all my friends are, please. For the love of fuck, stop showing me the flashes of the ghost girl that tried to break into my house. Have you seen Basil? You can't find him anywhere. Thank God! It's what I've been waiting for! <laughs> A gender drop! <gasps> we should tell M Mari you're okay. She's been worried sick. You know what? After what happened at the door downstairs, don't really want to see Mari right now. Ah. <laughs> uh... I guess we must. Also, I know what I said. I don't know if I pointed this out in the first episode. This is clearly like an in memoriam of thing, right? You had the photo frame, you light the candles. All these horrific things hap- well, not horrific. Hi, Mr. Snake. 200 clams. I don't know if he would actually stop me to give me those or not, but... Okay, I can actually go different ways. Oh, the music sounds kinda... Strange. Hello, spiderweb. You are afraid of spiders. Okay, that was, um... Don't stand too close to the spiderweb or the fucking spider's gonna bite your ass. Okay, good to know. So like, in the grass near a stump. So like, it's in... Wow, okay. Subtle. <laughs> Terrifying. I wish I'd not bothered. 11 keys left. Okay, that... Uh, sends all kinds of shivers up on my spine. So what's to the right? Ah, Pinwheel Valley. Good to know. Disclaimer, probably not its actual name. Just what I've christened it just now. I could take the ladder. We should go see Marie. She'd been so worried about you. To be fair, last time we saw Basil, wasn't doing too good. His house grew like veins and, uh, yeah. Screamed Marie's name. Afraid not. Last thing I remember was sorting photos with Basil in his house. Next thing I know, why I'm waking up in neighbor's room with Aubrey and Kel. At least we found you, Amori. But I hope Basil's okay. Who's gonna protect him if we're not there? Don't be such a downer, Aubrey. I'll find Basil for sure. You're absolutely right, Kel. It's at times like these when we've got to stay positive. 
Hmm. Why don't we go back to Basil's house? There might be something that we missed. That's the spirit hero. And as always, I'll be here if you need me. Thanks, Marie. You got my back covered. Give me the candy. Play the sound effect I love oh so much. God, I want that as a stream alert. Hi, Mommy Cliffy. Wow, you were worried about me a moment ago, and now you're still calling me Cliff Faced. All it costs is. That's. A... Maybe, maybe I've been around the block one too many times, but when someone says all it costs is your love, my, I, I, I panic and worry. Wanted alive. Pluto, the ninth planet of the solar system. No rewards, sorry. That's a buff ass moon. Oh, Basil's missing again. Wasn't me this time, I promise. Now leave me alone to repent. Honestly, I forgot Boss was even there. On a shrouded old bridge. Huh. I mean, let's be real. You weren't here before. A floating mirror. Your friends smile warmly behind you. I'm glad they do. Because let's be honest. After the heart attack I just had. It's um... I think I'd be more concerned if they didn't. Sure, I'll line the gra grass with you. The stars shine brightly overhead. You don't have a care in the world. Oh! Okay, so it is worth talking to people. I'm guessing observe, if I had to go to my skill menu. Predicts who a foe will target next turn. Interesting. I feel like this is an incredibly risky thing, but also probably a good thing to have on Amori. Don't think anyone else has any skills. No. What about you, Mr. Shady Letter Letterbox? What have you got for me? Yeah, I'm still confused as to why A, the candy heals more and costs less. I don't actually know, but I don't think I need any of these right now. So I'm gonna not bother for the time being. Train station, pinwheel forest, Basil's house. Man, pinwheel grove sounds cooler. Yeah, yeah, okay, look for Basil, gotcha. Oh no. These flowers, they're already dying. We should do the best to take care of them until Basil gets back. You're right, we should. Let's go to the goddamn plants, shall we? Hey, got an achievement. <laughs> Thank God. I knew something good would come out of watering the flowers. One of these days I'll learn how to care, but until then, you know, just gotta look after Basil, don't we? Well, gotta go find Basil, and then in the meantime, water his plants. So is this something I'm gonna have to come back and check on on regular intervals? Because I'm completely okay with doing that, it's just, you know, if that's the case, let me know and I'll do it. Knowing me, I'll forget. Ba Still never sure how you actually managed to get ahead of us, Marie, but sure. We feel like new. I'm gonna save just in case there's another boss up ahead. Cause you know, I was fucking warned about Pluto. I'm about to be crushed by Pluto, guys. Is this what you came to watch? Me be crushed by a rogue space rock? Basil, are you home? What the fuck are you? You're the thing that was in the back of my notebook. What do you mean there's nothing out of the ordinary hero? Did you not see the shadow demon in the middle of the room? Oh God, I feel like only I can see these. 
Well, there doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary. You think Basil just left somewhere without telling us? I don't know. That doesn't sound like him. He's usually so considerate about these things. Guys, I'm really worried. Is there nothing we can do? What if we can't find him? What if he's in danger? Stay calm, Aubrey. I'm worried too, but that won't solve anything. Let's go look around the forest. Maybe he wandered off and got lost. Yeah, cheer up, Aubrey. We'll find Basil. You guys are right. Okay, we gotta keep our hopes up. Let's look for Basil in the vast forest. The f mm. Mm. Why was the shadow demon in his house? Because, see, I don't know whether, like, I need to go back and look at episode one because I'm still not sure if the fucking shadow demon was actually in the back of my notebook on the first part. Which way is Vast Forest again? I can't really remember. I know which way Pinwheel Forest was. I think I passed there on my way here. Or at least I passed the sign for it. I know for sure I did that one. Uh, I'm just making sure none of the plants need watering. Vast forest. Train station, pinwheel, Basil's house. I can go this way now. Ah, okay. Pinwheel forest is part of vast forest. Good to know. <gasps> that, what the hell is that? That was the cute little bunny thing. Please don't tell me that's an enemy. I'm gonna feel really bad if that's an enemy. Hey look, a parrot! As we wave dash in, I think. Basil! Basil, where are you? I know. I bet my pet rock will know what to do. Hector, be a good boy. Go find Basil. <laughs> I love Hector's sprite. That's amazing. Look at that rock just vibing. He's, he, he fucking loves life. Oh, God. That's, uh, I, I, I actually love that. It's amazing. Tried your best, buddy. <laughs> yeah, he did. There's no time to fool around, Cal. Hey, why you? Hector was just trying to help. Let it go, you two. We need to keep ourselves focused. My God, that Hector bit. Oh boy, I was. <laughs> Mr. Parrot, squawked to Pinwheel Forest. Left to fo- no. Right to Foggy Bridge. So I can either go- Oh, hello. I don't want to hurt this creature! Look at how happy it is! I'm assuming it's happy. Um... I'm gonna assume it's so happy. I'm gonna ang anger it all- um, uh, uh, Aubrey? No, Amori. The fuck is Aubrey? I feel bad about bullying the wildlife. And again, I just gotta work out if this is like Undertale or not, where I'm gonna be penalized for murdering all the little creatures later on. Oh, got it to Sprite. Sprite? I'm following the footsteps because, uh, you know, that's how normal J JRPGs normally work. Uh, apple juice, hell yeah. All right, I'll fight some of these. I mean, we've seen this one before. I feel bad because they all just look like they're like happy and vibing and just living their lives and I'm coming over here just beating the shit out of them. So Amori always seems to go first. Look, a dandelion. What do you do? Uh, pockets. You're not a snack. 
You're a toy? You're a toy. Removes emotion from a friend or foe. Okay, so it's like hero's massage skill. Good to know. I came this way, this is where I fought the bunny thing. The stuffed bunny. Oh, speaking of. Oh god, there's two of them! Uh, okay, so... It seems like a lot of juice. Uh, you know what? I'll make the f lost sprout mall sad. And then I'll make Amori happy. I feel like Amori's our damage dealer. I, I just have that vibe. I don't know why. Maybe it's the fact he has a fucking knife. So passing to different people with... I'm trying to work out what all the passing and stuff does for Kel. It's kind of hard to work out. Um, everyone else just smack the shit out of this forest bunny. Oh, okay, the rabbit's lowering our attack. Oh! Okay. Um. Yeah, this is mildly problematic, isn't it? The problem is, Hero goes last. Can you cook, can you cook for Amori? That'd be great. Okay, you, you actually hit Hero. Oh, thank God. Even if that was just a cookie. Alright, everyone beat this. Nope, I did not mean to do that. I just realized I'm punching a creature whose defense I raised. Maybe it's best to inflict them with anger. Mm, nope, nope. Risky. Too risky. They get increased attack. Doesn't seem like a good idea. I need to eat something. Oh, you know. Go back see Marie. Mari. I'm still not sure. Yell at me in the comments. Is it Marie or Mari? This seems... Suspect. Hello? Bow wow. Big bone. Nourishment. Shelter. Still shelter. Small bone. Big bone. Okay. I feel like this might be something for later. Probably just have to remember that that is there. Oh, hello, Sprout. Oh, that's an angry bunnet. Yeah, Amori looks how I feel about how that battle went. I feel like I gotta do some grinding between episodes. <laughs> you know, the battle system's fun. I just feel like I need to avoid, like, most encounters feel too tough for me for now. I just need to speak to Marie every, for like, five minutes just to snack on some candy, make myself feel better. Oh, hello, boss. No, you're not boss. What's your name? Grumble, 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 grumble. Hey Van, something wrong with Burley. She seems a little upset. Oh, about that. Well, you see. Eh, let me explain. Look at this pool! Can you believe it? What are we looking at? Yeah, I don't see it. Eggs! Ex exactly! The teleball's missing! And he used his arms and swung around too hard, and now the ball's gone far up somewhere. Never to be seen again. I told you not to use your arms, Van. You gotta use your head. Like this! Sorry, Pearly. Using my head all the time gives me a headache. That's because you don't have a hard head like I do! Oh, something just hit me. I'm sure I saw the ball flying up somewhere in that direction. In the 
the vast forest! Yes. I'll never find it now. Might as well be lost forever! Hey, don't sweat it, Burly. We'll get the ball for you. Heh! <laughs> you sure you want to do that? Vast forest is a pretty dangerous place, you know. One time, I got, even got into a super grizzly bull with this ugly plant creature with dead empty eyes and a gaping mouth. I am winning it, of course, being cool and smart and all. There's no monster in, the, in all of the universe that can outrun me. So you ran away from it. <laughs> Say, Amori, why don't you and your friends go with Burly and keep her out of trouble? I'd go myself, but... Okay, I, which one of you is happy again? Fam! Brown's rang over Bangs again! Oh jeez, that's my cue. I'm coming, Happy! Be safe out there, you guys. I'll see you when I get back. Come on, Burly, let's go find your lost ball. We don't have anything to worry about as long as we're together. Heh! <laughs> sure! Just don't get in my way while I show off my totally amazing headbutt skills! Ugh. Let's just get this over with. Got a fifth party member for the time being? Huh. That's the real reason I came up here, but uh, yeah, apparently I recruited Burly to the, the, the crew. I don't think she's permanent because she doesn't follow me around the field like the others, but hey, what can you do? Okay, well, I guess with Burley in tow. Let's uh, go back and see if things go any better, shall we? Okay, I had it backwards. Happy, strong against angry. Angry, strong against sad. Sad is strong against happy. Try again with feeling. Happy, so I need to be sad. And you really could do with making this bunny happy. You just hit it. Oh, for a moment I thought fucking I made him angry because he looked pissed off in his portrait. Well, now that we're both sad and, uh... Ready to wreck face. They're just hopping around. Now I feel bad. Not bad enough to stop, mind you, but you know. I'm more good at level four. Hell yeah! I f I was about to say I feel bad, and then I realized uh, I'm already angry. Oh, okay. Okay, Kel got rebound. Let's see what that does when it's at home. Skills for Kel. Deal damage to all foes. Oh shit! Kel got an AOE. Kid's about to be doing some serious DPS. Maybe I should be buffing Kel and like having him attack. So like the footprints are appearing. And last time, oh shit, that one's angry. Um, bum bum. Love this music and I don't know why. Uh, yeah, I need to make Amori happy to deal more damage to him. Also, I just want to get rid of the angry enemy as soon as possible. That's the hero. Oh shit, that did damage to all of them. Also, now Kel is faster than Amori. Well, now I guess we just murder the bunny. Go to level four, but he's already got a third skill, so you know. Hey, look. Huh? I don't know. 
know, guys. I don't think Basil's in this forest. But we haven't even searched the whole forest yet. We can't stop now. Cheer up, Aubrey. We'll keep searching until we find him. If we don't find him Basil soon, maybe we should meet up with Marie at the playground and figure out what to do from there. Every... Every goddamn time, it's terrifying. Hello, you happy little mole creature. Well, I know you were encouraging the, me to go back to Marie, so I think I will. And probably end off the episode. Oh, good. Uh, bum. Need to be mad to actually kill this bunny. So that is... Your technique. Oh, that's in it. It looks sad. A uh, an Aubrey. Getting, I'm getting confused between Aubrey and Amori. It's gonna happen a lot, unfortunately. Yeah, it just like made a sad face at Aubrey and fucking made her sad. Even yeah, I feel bad about that one. Yeah, there's like footprints leading to what I'm assuming is the vague direction of where I got Jax. Could you not right now? Just a tire swing, you say? I was wondering why Hero was behind everyone else in XP and I was like, oh yeah, he did die in that one battle, didn't he? Sorry, he didn't die. He became toast. Quite literally. That's a fucking genius, whoever wrote that one in. <laughs> I didn't realize this would trigger story stuff. My bad. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Have you found Basil yet? Hey, Mari. No luck so far, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I just wish there was a way I could be more help. We're all doing our best. Maybe we should start looking outside this forest. I know! Why don't we try climbing that really long ladder? The one east the one east of the stump. We can't do that. Amori's afraid of heights. But what if Basil is somewhere up there? We gotta take our chances. Mori, you're growing stronger and stronger every day. You can handle climbing a ladder, can't you? Girl, you should have seen me try to walk down the stairs. I nearly got eaten by a demon. Come on, little brother, face your fears. It's natural to be nervous at first, but you should know that we all believe in you. Come on, Amori, it's just one measly little ladder. What's the worst that could happen? Have you heard of Gravity Cal? I don't know about this. Do you think you're gonna be okay, Amori? No! No, I don't. That's okay. You just take your time. Ah, come on, Amori! I just sit tight with Basil missing. Amori, we have to do this. We're all here to support you. And if anything happens, we'll all be here to protect you, too. Won't we, Aubrey? Yeah, I guess you're right about that. We have nothing to be afraid of as long as we're together. Basil is probably all alone. He needs us right now. Maury, you have to face your fears for Basil's sake. I believe in you. We can, we can take it slow if you like. As long as we get there eventually. Let's go to the ladder east of the stump! We'll see you later, Mari! Bye now, be safe. Remember, Mari, you're stronger than you think. I'd believe it, but at the same time, all I'm here to do is eat this candy and save my game. I'm still gonna have a wander around the forest because obviously 
you know, I didn't, I got nowhere near close to looking around everything in there, so I'm gonna go back, but I'm gonna have to call this an episode for now. Anyway, thank you all for watching this episode of Amori. If you like the video in any capacity, please feel free to give the video a like down below, leave a comment on whatever you feel like at this point, and if you want to keep updated as to when I, whenever I post videos, be they of this Higarashi, which I think is like, at least chapter one is nearing its end. Uh, so, but I'm gonna carry on with it, or at least I'm gonna move pretty much straight into chapter two. So it's gonna be that carrying on. And the other thing that's running is a uh, stream vod of My Darling's Embrace, a Steinsgate story. <laughs> that's not what it's called, but it's what I'm calling it. But yeah, if you want to keep up to date with whenever I post anything to the channel, feel free to subscribe to the channel. In theory, if you do that, YouTube sends you alerts as to when I post videos, but don't think it does. I think it's a lie. I think you have to press the bell icon as well. So really, you're pressing the subscribe button does you made me feel good about myself. So thanks for that in advance. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I've been Nyx, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace!